We're off. Can't raise the sail yet. Shall we raise the sail, Eivor? Save Warriors. it for later. Bring it. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. Here. Together, we are unstoppable. What do you see, Sunan? Fala aí, Bruno. Mas é uma mina. Encontre e queime as carroças com suprimento.
step with me! de fugir, carai.
Ships are coming! Clan, you reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. 
Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kyrtve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatbe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kötve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kyrtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kyrtve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harald's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kyrtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyrtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyrtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today, my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors. 
and cut short the court of Chatve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Seeger is only here to watch me feed your renets to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This... this is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. You dance better than you fight. Chatve, the old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolf. Ugh! <laughs> 
You are your father's child. Price, wolf kissed the glory of my death. All for this. The coward father is empty sacrifice. Heed the price of our war, wolf kissed the harvest. Of three dead generations, all their names are known. It all means nothing. No, my clan will not be forgotten. <laughs>
Only darkness. <laughs> are forfeit. Come forward if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, Wolfkist. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers.
Pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Gorm flees. His father dies twice today. The breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped, fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead, his clan is no more. We are the masters of Ria Vilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop and listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle first and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Suna. Another time.
Stretch your wings sooner. Show me.
I need your eyes, my friend. This crate is marked for Odin. Is it an offering?
Soon enough. I should not be seen in this area. Jammed. Need to get on the other side.
What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack. But we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid. Then we shall raid. Three wolves and I will be the fourth to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors. Like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. They arrived at the village. Torches, axes, and blades at the ready. Ready for the slaughter. A successful raid. Yes! With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Chotve Jarl's stories. One day I'll be just like him. Doctor Stupion! Doctor the Raven Clan! young raiders. I'll see you wolves on another battlefield one day.
clan is a foul stench. Ah, a thirsty foe. Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Uh, fear got you then, deep in your belly. We Come on, strong. I need a challenger. Yes, strong with stink. <laughs> Step closer, seal face, and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the Longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to... Put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Stop right there. Got this 
going on? Wait a sec! Something's wrong. What's going on? going on? You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> You can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Celestine! <laughs>
looks like trouble. Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this, Lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lied! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. 
Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? <laughs> would he? 
he would take his pleasure and move on, you Moon Knight magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. E aí, Buzzi? Nossa, jogão, mano. Tô curtindo pra caralho. Tem que usar o... o então, tentei usar ele, mano, só que não... Ele não acha nunca, velho. Ó. Tá dizendo que tá aqui, mas não... Sim, deve estar aqui dentro. It's Eivor. Open the door. Tá porra. Keep your voice down. It will alert Harald's men. O maluco brotou do nada, velho. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the... Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtva and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. Ainda tô pegando as mecânicas do jogo e tal, loot e tal. Mas é Assassin's Creed, né, mano? Não muda muito. I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. Da hora esse maluco aí, mano. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. Como assim não tem loot, man? A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Chadbis' riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. Daí, como é que pega as armas daí? If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis' riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Hum, todas as armas vêm de baú. O louco. Isso é gostoso, hein? Ah, velho que me deu o um chá lá. Você não vai nos ajudar? Para a minha mãe, eu não posso. Mas nossas ameaças vão cruzar de novo antes do final do dia. Até então, farewell. O negócio é dar upgrade da nossa arma. Entendi. Fale com o Sigurd nas docas. Quer ver? Ó? Olha o que, que eu tenho já. Inventário. Então o negócio é upar aqui, ó. Melhorar. Tipo, esses itens é por cor também. Não tem amarelo, amarelo não são os lendários. 
Jogar de duas lanças? Eu não peguei nenhuma lança ainda, mano. Eu ganhei esse bagulho aqui, ó. Estrela metálica. Mais dois de dano dispara na cabeça. Isso aqui é bom, velho. Destaca os inimigos automaticamente enquanto você estiver agachado e não detectado. Pô, da hora! Ah, eu vou ter que upar pra eles ficarem... Hum, entendi. É, eu gosto muito de arco, velho. Gosto de arco e espada, né, velho. Quatro pontos... Furtivo Furtivo, dano furtivo Dano à distância Dano furtivo Corpo a corpo E verde e vermelho. Só quer dizer aqui as habilidades? Eu fui azul e vermelho. Nossa, olha, olha o tamanho dessa árvore, velho. O que eu tenho que fazer? Tem que ir lá falar com o maluco lá. Então o negócio é meio dando uma olhada se tu acha uns baús aqui. Ó, tem um cara, tem um cara de armas ali. How can I help? Ah, mas eu posso comprar a arma dos caras aqui, mano, ó. Não posso? Ou não? Equipamento no momento. Melhorar equipamento. Ah, não aparece nada pra comprar, só pra melhorar, ó. Deixa eu ver. É, as que eu tô equipada são mais fortes, né? As que ele tem pra vender são, são as fraquinhas, são as azul ali, né? Ó, o arco também, ele tem um arco mais fraco. Ó, esse machado que ele tem é mais forte, né não? Deixa eu entender aqui, mano. Ah, aqui é pra melhorar o equipamento, então é o que eu já tenho, então. Do you need anything else? Nunca comprei nada. Não posso vender também, né? I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. Diferente, mano. Esse esquema de É, se no Odyssey eles, eles forçavam tu a subir de level, aqui pelo que eu vi eles vão te forçar a lutear, né, mano? E atrás de dinheiro, fazer missão e tal. Vai rolar aqui, mano. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving. Uma coisa que eu aprendi com o Odyssey e o Buzzy é having doubts. Caminhar, mano, no jogo e para tudo que é lado, ver o que tem que fazer. E aqui eu achei legal esse esquema que tem de, tipo, riquezas, é, sabe, dividido em três, três partes, eu achei bem legal. 
fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. Peraí, Bus, deixa eu passar esse cutscene que eu abro o entrada. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. O cara tem mosmo. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anger, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agil bless your voyage. Eu não posso abrir o bagulho. Não posso abrir o. A time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar Ignite! established the settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia. Caralho, ali isso. Land, lush and wild. By now the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Por Valhalla! Ah, porra, agora que começou o jogo, mano. Tô jogando já umas 5 horas o jogo, velho. Tá, porra. Ó, oh, a menina da. Minhãzinha da Nimbus lá, mano. É sempre a mesma doutora, velho. Agora começou o jogo, eu tava jogando estranho que até agora não tinha nada de Nimos, mano. Tô jogando umas 5 horas e pouco já. Ó o Malborão, um filtro vermelho. É a mesma doutora do. do Odyssey, eu acho. Ah, usar uma armadura que tem... Que combine com o que eu tô upando, entendi Faz sentido, Buzi Vou controlar ela também In a lecture at the University of Cambridge Dr. Sirka told a worried audience That scientists have few answers for them Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field is a factor of 50,000. 
This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles. And as we can all see, né, mesma doutora, né? Tem uns negócios ali da Grécia, você viu? Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Hmm. Thanks, Sean. É a Laila, mesma mina, mano. Ela que no final pegou o cetro lá da, da mina do Odyssey. Que da hora isso, velho. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Ah, eu tenho que focar então na na vermelha, na eu tenho que focar na azul e na amarela. You're a long way from home, Avor. Hmm. Nossa, sem a neve, mano, já dá uma melhorada no, no FPS já. Você é louco. Neve, fogo, mano. Pesa demais essas porra. Sim, sim. Entendi ali a moral. Ela sempre tá pesquisando culturas. Animo sempre tá vendo culturas diferentes. Não é animos, é ânimos. Eu sempre esqueço o nome dessa porra. Sim, aqui agora no mundo real eu não tô na Inglaterra. É algum país nórdico, né, onde ficava aquela cultura ali. Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost the GPS. Tá, mas por que o corpo dela tá enterrado aqui? Nos Estados Unidos. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. A Laila tá nos Estados Unidos. Beleza, aqui, aqui é os Estados Unidos. Mas por que que o corpo da da Avor tá aqui? That's quite nice. Soothing. Só o tempo irá dizer. Hum, então eles vieram para os Estados Unidos. Oxi. Caixa de entrada. Assunto. Você tem o um dono da maldição. O dono do sangue antigo. Maldição não é compreender. Ah, que porra é essa? Última mensagem. DNA. Herdeiro de memórias. É por causa do Covid, da Covid, caralho, mano. Ainda estou me recuperando da viagem. Pra mim, ração. Ah, certamente vem no DLC, né, mano? Não estou com Covid, não. Estou bem isolado. Beleza. 
arquivos locais britânicos importantes. Ih, mano, se eu tô indo pra... Eu vou encontrar o... O Brotherhood lá. Índia. Valeu, Buzi. Vai lá, mano. Vou procurar, valeu, Buzi. Não tem espada de mão, só de duas. Não hum, entendi. Triste, porque eu gosto de espada, mano. Onde se achei do caralho as espadas que tinha. Mas eu jogo de. Eu gosto de jogar escudo e espada, mano. Então não era. Tem que jogar de duas com espada só. Desmond para Layla. Bastão de Hermes hum. Adquirido portadora da águia Cassandra 2018 Caralho, que da hora, velho Os caras interligaram Minhas coisas, fotos Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Sean has been busy. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. P. 
feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. There she is, England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy! Taking your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say on. Yes, I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. Well, they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. 
Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick and a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to me? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dak. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boat. Touch, it. It. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. What's wrong with you? Should be cautious around here. Jesus, what's happening? Could hide a lot in that, hey? Hmm. Keep my wits about me. Stop! God damn you! Take your last breath! Going on, I'll fight you in the bushes. <laughs> oh, now what?
crawled into the brush, have you? This chain is huge, and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Clear. Chain is away. Hey, boy, back to the boat. We should be close. Firing any more surprises. Sigurd, give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dad? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be... We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last! They find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. 
Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a god. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! Hey! On me! this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You, you have you wished for a death fight. It feels like home <laughs> 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 I want no more surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. Ugh. 
with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men are prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli, I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Hornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. 
Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm, I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plants, letters, 